My gaming setup is finally getting the upgrade I've been waiting for. Let's jump in. This half of the Denki studio has always been my chill spot to hang out and relax whenever I want to take a break from making YouTube videos. But if there's an upgrade that's at the top of my wish list, it's an OLED. So when Sony slid into my DMs asking me if I could do a sponsored video on the Bravia XR 880K, I couldn't say no. Ooh, team lift. You said it was fine, and that's why I was concerned. Ooh, look at the back of this thing. Hey, yo, look at this. It's like an Eggo waffle. Child safety, proper television placement matters. So we're definitely not putting this in Austin's office. So I got the TV all up and running, and it's everything I've been wanting for the Denki gaming setup. Now, again, this video is sponsored by Sony, so this isn't a review on the A80K. But as we do here on Denki anyways, I want to talk about key points that stood out to me in the few days that I spent putting it through its paces. I don't want to dance around it, but if there's anything I've taken away from using this TV, it's how good the picture quality is. Of course, having an OLED panel gives you tons of benefits right off the bat in contrast and shadow detail compared to conventional LCDs. Not only can it dim all the way down to zero for true black, but it does this for every single pixel compared to a limited amount of dimming zones on LCD. Where you'll notice this the most is while watching scenes that take place at night, where nuanced dark tones can make all the difference for having something look realistic to the eye. And this is especially the case playing HDR content, which the A80K supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG. Though, for the sake of transparency, if there's one thing that I would add, I do wish the screen could get just a tad bit brighter. Luminance is only one aspect when it comes to the A80K's picture quality, but there's also how the TV processes images. Things like color, motion, how the TV handles upscaling to 4K, and it does all of these things very well. Just like any TV nowadays, there are a handful of built-in picture profiles to choose from. Though, the standard one is already good on its own. I should point out that while it's not necessary, if you want to get in the weeds, Sony includes helpful adjustments to fine-tune the calibration yourself. But of course, you'll probably want the necessary tools handy if you plan on going down that route. As far as motion goes, Sony leans heavily on its Cognitive Processor XR to keep things nice and clear. While the A80K has motion smoothing on by default, one thing I appreciate is that XR does a lot in keeping Judder down to a minimum, especially in 24p content. All this to say, the overall picture quality is excellent, no matter what you decide to put on the screen. And because the software is built on top of Google TV, you have access to most major streaming services, either installed on the TV or available to download via the Google Play Store. Plus, it's kind of cool using Google Assistant to control everything with just your voice. But in my opinion, the Bravia A80K really pairs the best with next-gen gaming hardware like the PlayStation 5. A cool thing about Sony sponsoring this video is the fact that they also hooked it up with God of War Ragnarok early. Of course, by the time you're watching this video, the game will already be on sale, but I can't think of a more fitting way to test out this TV than to play one of the PS5's most anticipated games of this year. Pretty helpfully, Ragnarok does offer two sorts of graphics modes. You can choose to preference either frame rate or resolution. Me personally, I like to preference frame rate because I think I respond to games better that way. But even still, this game on the PS5 has incredible detail. And you really do make the most of it on this OLED. I mean, look at the fur. You have detail on the rocks and the dirt behind them. There's no wacky gradients or things lost in shadow or highlight. It's just all in the way it should be. God, especially where Kratos is, it is incredibly shadowy over there. What I was saying earlier about scenes set at night, the fact that you can make out all of this detail and that it's super precise, it's nice. Not about to be absorbed in 30 hours of gameplay while shooting a video, so let's hop into something else. Now me personally, my favorite franchise on the PlayStation side of things has to be Gran Turismo. And GT7 is probably the game I played the most on the PS5. Oh, go, go, oh, hold the slide, hold the slide, go. 
nice. On top of the awesome image quality, the A80K offers all of the need-to-haves that you'd expect out of a TV going into 2023 if you're planning on doing any kind of gaming this generation. With the HDMI 2.1 port on the back, this TV is capable of playing in 4K at up to 120 hertz. Of course, not every game will be able to take advantage of that, but it's certainly nice to see and is pretty good in the scheme of future-proofing. Jumping into a fast-paced game of Modern Warfare 2, woo! It's so hard to talk and play games. This TV supports variable refresh rate, which in theory should cut down on screen tearing. And when it recognizes that you're playing a game on a console or PC, it'll kick you into an auto low latency mode to give you the best possible response time. Though going 11 and 21, don't think it helps my skill necessarily. There's also some welcome synergy with the PS5, as you'd expect for a pair of products under the same brand name. Just like the InZone M9 gaming monitor I took a look at a few months back, the PS5 and the A80K know when they're hooked up to each other and will adjust HDR tone mapping accordingly. Plus, it'll automatically change picture modes based on whether you're playing a game or watching a movie. The Bravia A80K offers solid value for the money for people that are looking to make the most out of their PS5 experience. And as we're coming up on the big holiday shopping season, prices on this TV are pretty competitive against other ones in its class. If you want to find out more or even pick one up for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. Huge thanks to Sony for sponsoring this video and also supporting what I do here on Denki Channel, and also to you guys as we approach 100,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me, and hopefully we can hit that goal by the end of the year.